अलाउद्दीन खलजी तुगलक डायनेस्टी came into power the ruling period was 1322 1414 three important rulers of tughlaq dynasty were known in the history of india the first one and the founder giyasuddin tughlaq the second most important mohammed bin tughlaq and the third most important was firoz shah tughlaq Yasuddin Tughlaq ruled from 1320 to 1324 AD. Muhammad bin Tughlaq from 1324 to 1351 AD. And Firoz Shah Tughlaq from 1351 to 1388. after firoz their successors were weak but before we move to the next dynasty we will we'll learn some of the works done by these three rulers the first one and the founder giyasuddin as soon as he occupied the throne his first priority was to restore peace law and order everywhere which was disturbed after the death of alauddin khalji the second important ruler mohammed bin tughlaq his original name was juna khan he occupied the throne after his father's death yasuddin he was also known as the wisest fool in the history of india why he is known as the wisest fool some of the events which he had done during his ruling period which made him unpopular were the first one the shifting of his capital from delhi to dev giri 
which was renamed as Daltabad. made him unpopular among his common masses because the movement caused a lot of human suffering. Now why did he transferred his capital there were some points related to the question the first reason he transferred his capital from Delhi to Daltabad, he thought it is a central or centrally located capital to have. Centrally located capital. Next point is to establish stability in Deccan. A third important reason to make good relations. with the people of Deccan. The fourth reason it was means Devgiri was not near the north West frontier which was constantly under Mongols attack. Another important reason which made him unpopular was the introduction of token currency. Instead of gold and silver, he introduced the currency in brass and copper soon gold and silver coin disappeared and forged copper coins minted by goldsmiths at their home came into circulation and when the experiment failed. The Sultan was obliged to exchange his silver and gold coins against the face value of copper and brass coins. The treasury became empty and the prestige of the empire suffered. During his ruling period, a Moorish traveler Ibn Battuta K. 
came to India in the year 1333 and he was appointed as the chief Kazi of Delhi by Muhammad bin. The more important works which was done by Muhammad bin Tughlaq were the creation of agricultural department known as Divan A. Kohi He was the first ruler in the history of Sultanate who planned a campaign to capture Mongol territories. And in 1351, he died. Then came the third most important ruler of Tughlaq dynasty, Firoz Shah Tughlaq. He was Muhammad bin's cousin. As Muhammad bin Tughlaq had no son, he chose Firoz as Sultan and his nobles also accepted him. Firoz was known as to be a good Sultan and the most important work which he had done in his ruling period was in the field of agriculture. He made lots of canals to improve the agricultural condition. In the next class and in the next session we will learn some more achievements of the Sultanate rulers. Thank you.